Hello from my sunny garden. It's a really beautiful day here. I hope it is with you too. Um, really sunny and warm. So um, I thought I'd pop into the garden to do this video. Um, now if you follow my business page, you might not have seen me for a while because I was away in south of France. Um, I was doing an art retreat um, run by a friend of mine, Catherine Vase, and um, yeah, having a, a lovely time and also um, having a social media free week because, um, you know, for any of you who run a business or even engage in social media, you must know how uh, all consuming it can become. So I really, I'd, I found myself sort of speaking, um, thinking in social media posts and I thought I really need a break and it was a really... Um, yeah, it was a fruitful time and it was lovely to take a break from technology. So now I'm back and um, back from my holiday. And, um, you know, the most um, amazing thing about my holiday on this occasion was coming home. Um, I have done so much traveling over the years. And um, for many, many years when I was living in London, um, coming home from a trip, I'd be coming to home to an empty house, to an empty flat, and that wasn't always a bad thing, but um, towards the end of my years in London, um, or for, during certain periods, I felt quite lonely coming back to, um, after my trip to my flat, um, walking up the street, dragging my case behind me. Um, you know, if you live in London and you're single, um, I'm sure you're familiar with that feeling of sort of getting off a tube or a bus and walking up the street with your dragging your case and then hauling it up the stairs to your home. Um, and yeah, doing that on your own um, without the support of a partner. And what was so lovely about going away this time was coming home and um, coming home late at night on, on the bus from Heathrow and having my partner be there to meet me. And I was so pleased to see him. It brought tears to my eyes and um, it was so lovely to see him. It had been two weeks. Um, and it, it just really brought home to me how, you know, how what a difference it has made to my life to be in a committed relationship. We're now engaged and to have a partner and... Um, and how many years, you know, how for so many years I didn't have that and how, yeah, how sad I can be at times that um, when I think back to, you know, now that I'm in a relationship, I see the real joys and values of, of and the value of being in a relationship. And um, I don't really think I appreciated that before. And um, I feel sad sometimes that it took me so long to get there. So it was 43 when I fell in love. I was 43 when I fell in love with my partner. So um, I'll be 47 by the time I get married. Um, so um, I know, I know from my experience, I know from my work, I know from my socialising that there are a lot of women and men, but I particularly speak to women because that's what I know. There are a lot of women who are um, maybe living in London or maybe elsewhere, but who are single and they don't want to be. And they really want to make a change in their lives. And, you know, we're coming up to this beautiful time of year with the summer. And, um, you know, it's a great time to be single or to be in a relationship. But um, it's a great time to go dating, to go out and meet people. And um, I, as I was thinking about how blessed and how fortunate I am to be in that relationship, I was just really you know determined and excited to help others do the same um to find a relationship to find love to find partnership and to enjoy this beautiful weather in a relationship in a blossoming relationship or going out dating so um as you know some of you will know i um i run how to fall in love courses um and I have another one starting on June the 19th. I've had a bit of a rethink and um, I've decided to offer the course under the same uh, model that it has been really successful so far. So, um, and at the same price that I started off. And this is the last time that I'll be offering the course at that price. I know it has to be because um, I think it's really good value. Um, so it's a six-week course, um, it's a journey to the heart, 
and I bring together a small group of like-minded, open-hearted women who are ready and willing to explore their relationship history, explore their feelings about themselves and their, their age and stage in life, to love and accept themselves, to connect with their feelings, to do a bit of meditation, um, to um, identify any blocks that they might have to love and relationship by looking at their history and, and even delving into their childhood um, in order to really find, um, yeah, really move forward, really move forward. So understand the blocks, identify the blocks, remove the blocks and get out there and start enjoying the process of dating and entering, to, entering, entering into relationships with a really strong sense of self-worth of uh, knowing your value and um, knowing what your needs are, knowing how to express them. Um, and um, yeah, with an openness, with an optimism and with support from a supportive group, uh, so accountability partners. So um, what I do, what has worked really well um, this year, we started in January, um, I bring together that small group of women in a closed Facebook group and we all share and we all support each other on that journey. Um, I offer on this over the six weeks course there will be fortnightly group coaching calls using um, a platform called Zoom where you get to see me, you get to see everyone else, you all get to talk to each other, we get to talk through the exercises of, the, of each week and we get to share and set goals and stay accountable to those goals and those goals could be something about um, you know revamping your life, something about health and well-being or something about getting out there and dating or joining new clubs or finding new interests or finding new ways to meet people um, and what I have found is that a really lovely community forms through, the, through that group Every week also you will have, uh, over the course of the six weeks, you will have an exercise which I will uh, write out for you and also I'll do an accompanying video to talk you through the exercise. Those exercises are based on the steps that I took over many, many years um, with the help of um, support, a support network, with the help of um, recovery groups, recovery from dysfunctional relationships, with the help of therapy. Um, the steps that I took in order to let go of the self-sabotaging patterns and behaviours that were stopping me from being in a relationship and keeping me single, um, in order to accept and love myself, and in order to, um, yeah, get over myself, get over my fears, walk through my fears, and let uh, let my heart open to love. Um, so those, yeah, the steps that I share, the exercises that I share are all based on tried and tested um, things that I have done in my life and that other women who I have been um, guiding have taken also um, to, um, yeah, to find love. So I, um, as some of you know, I've also written um, many of these steps into my book, um, How to Fall in Love, A 10-Step Journey to the Heart, which looks like this and is on Amazon. So right now you might be thinking, why don't I just buy the book? So right now the Kindle version of the book is just 99p and the um, paperback is 9.99. So, you know, I'm asking you to invest uh, £99 on the early bird in the six week course um, and 125 if you miss the early bird. So why not just buy the book? Well, I could show you my uh, bookshelf of self-help and personal development books and maybe you could show me yours and um, maybe you've worked through some of those books and maybe you've taken steps but from my experience of books you know I get re really inspired when I'm reading them and all sort of excited and worked up and I write take loads of notes and I make loads of decisions but very rarely do I follow through on those decisions consistently um, and the only time that I have really changed, transformed myself, has been as part of an accountability, supportive group, working with a therapist, being part of a group, and having a coach or someone to, to guide me through, um, someone to be accountable to, uh, someone to cheer me on, to encourage me. So I believe there is really, 
you know, there's huge value in being part of that um, of that supportive network that I am hoping to create starting on June the 19th. So um, if you, yeah, if you're worried about the commitment, the six weeks, firstly, if you're worried about commitment, uh, you'll always be worried about commitment. I am, if you've read any of my articles, I am a recovering commitment phobe. Um, and the thought of committing to something for six weeks would always freak me out. The, the thought of committing to money, to investment, to spending my hard-earned money on things, that freaks me out too. But um, that's when I've seen results, when I have committed to something, when I have really, you know, and often when I've paid for it. Because when I commit to free stuff, I don't show up or I show up half-heartedly. And, you know, my relationship journey has all been about learning to put two feet in and wholeheartedly connect with another person and give my heart 100%. And, you know, that's what, um, that's why I'm asking you to spend money because I believe it will help you to commit to the process. Now, if you're worried that you'll miss a week, that you're away, um, that you won't make the calls, then um, everything is recorded. All the um, materials are available for you whenever you want. You can catch up whenever you need to. Um, so, you know, do have a think about um, even if you, you're away for a week, I still think it could work for you. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, we start on June the 19th. Um, I have a maximum of 15 places. Um, so it's a small group and um, hopefully you'll all get to know each other and support each other. Um, and, uh, yeah, my, my course that I began in January for six weeks um they half of them wanted to continue for another six weeks um and they wanted to continue with uh, monthly maintenance after that monthly motivation and maintenance as i call it because they um they really found value in what uh what they were getting from the course so you know everyone is at different stage um some people are ready ready to go out there and date some people are already dating some people want to do some work on themselves some people have major life goals that they really want to achieve first. Um, I, I don't advise putting off relationships before you achieve major life goals, but there are some things that we need to do for ourselves to feel better about ourselves. So um, it might be, you know, some women have taken decisions around going on dates with a more open, optimistic, playful um, attitude, as well as a real sense of self-worth and, um, and valuing themselves and knowing what they need and what they want and from one of the exercises that we do on boundaries having really clear boundaries about you know when they want to show up when they want to leave what is acceptable behavior um pausing and reflecting before rushing in rushing in was one of the things that i did and it always got me into it often got me into trouble um so um pausing and reflecting knowing your boundaries so some women have engaged in in the dating process and are enjoying that uh, others have, have have done you know taken action around stuff that they have been procrastinating about for years and i know all about procrastination because my uh my book that i published um you know i had been writing another book for four years which i haven't finished yet but i still hope to finish but i was procrastinating and this book i just got it done so i know all about procrastination so some of those um actions around our well-being or around our dreams and hopes that we've been putting off for a long time um, just taking action on those that often helps us feel better about ourselves, um, more able to sort of own our lives and love our lives and be out there with a real sense of um, self-love. It might be around well-being, it might be around relationships with yourself and your body, your size and your shape or your age and your stage in life. Um, you might need to do some letting go of uh, lost loves, of past relationships, of dreams that didn't work out, maybe motherhood. Um, you might need to grieve through that. So, um, yeah, I could go on and on about, um, you know, the value that you'll get from this course, but let me try and summarise it. It's about inner transformation. It's about an inner journey in order to love yourself more, love your life, fully embrace your life, and build really solid foundations for a healthy and loving relationship with a partner. Getting ideas about where to meet people and how to meet people, 
getting inspired to take up activities that you've been wishing that you've been doing for that you've done for a long time you might want to hike or cycle or swim or paint or draw or join groups um, get out there and meet more people so finding inspiration for that and um, yeah generally turning your life into something that's full and fulfilling and as many of you know that's often the point when the partner shows up or when you are able to see that the men in your vicinity suddenly one of them might feel attractive to you because you have changed your outlook maybe you've let go of your usual type maybe you've let go of the stuff that's been blocking you or let go of last, lost loves and created space in your life maybe you've overcome your fear of commitment and um, are ready to move through so um, I will uh, leave it there I'll just tell you briefly June the 19th we start it's six weeks um, exercise every week with a video accompanying that exercise talking you through it um, there's a private Facebook group where I will do live videos talking you through the exercises as well and also um, the fortnightly coaching calls there's also a um, VIP option which involves um, I've gone very dark all of a sudden which involves uh, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with me on the alternate week so that's also an option um, the early bird is available till Wednesday June the 14th and um, but I do have limited places so if it's of interest please get in touch talk it through with me I'm happy to have a conversation about it um, and I really, really hope that this course will be a success. It's a great time of year to do it. Um, some of you might be sort of slowing down for, for summer, but you know what better time to work on yourself, to embrace your, yeah, just to, to learn to love yourself and to start focusing on those dreams. Ultimately, the outcome, at the end of six weeks, I can't promise that you will be in a relationship or have fallen in love. Um, but I believe that you will have a stronger sense of self, of your self-worth, you will know your value, you will understand boundaries, you will understand your blocks to love and to relationship, you will feel more enthusiastic and optimistic about dating, um, you'll have made friends and joined a supportive community, um, and um, you will be well on the way to having a healthy and loving relationship because you will know what you need, you will know how to express those needs in a healthy and loving way and how to get those needs met and you'll understand boundaries and know how to keep healthy and loving boundaries for yourself during the dating process. So um, yeah, I also have a free Facebook group which is called Being Real Becoming Whole which I'll link to the bottom of this um, video. I'll also link my uh, the link to the course so you can have some more details of it. Um, do come and join the Being Real Becoming Whole Facebook group. It's a growing group of women who are, you know, committed to living wholeheartedly and I share there often about, um, yeah, about steps we can take to sort of love ourselves and expand our lives. Um, and also starting on Monday I'll be doing a 10 day self love challenge. So do watch this space, that's free, that's just me motivating you to uh, love yourself every day. So um, thanks for watching. I hope this has been clear and I hope this has inspired you to think about whether you'd like to join my course. If it's not for you but you know somebody who it might suit, um, do share the details. That would be really wonderful. And um, thanks again for watching. Bye.